Hi everyone, um, I thought I would make a video about getting ready for RTX because there's a lot of people that are going for the first time and I've been twice already and I'm going a third time this year. So, um, I don't know, I thought I can give you some of my experiences and some tips and some advice just to, you know, for your first time to make it, you know, a little bit easier. First, number one tip, bring water everywhere you go. It is Austin, Texas in the middle of summer. You need water. You can bring your own water bottle and you can refill it at the convention center if you don't want to buy a water bottle at the convention center. As someone who has passed out from heat and dehydration, it's not fun at all. Especially if you're going to be in hot cosplay. Um, staying hydrated is the easiest way to cool down. Um, the convention center is going to be air conditioned, but every time you go outside it's going to be pretty damn hot. <laughs> you can buy water bottles in bulk at CVS or Walmart or whatever. Um, I would keep those in your room, bring them with you, do whatever you want to do. Next tip would be to wear comfortable clothing and shoes. You're going to be doing a lot, a lot of standing and walking. A lot. If you're cosplaying, you might have to wear some uncomfortable stuff like full armor or last year I got to walk around in these all day, um, a cinder. I actually lasted a lot longer than I thought I would, 12 hours and it only hurt in the last like 10 minutes. That was because I invested in some insoles. So if you're doing cosplay and you're wearing uncomfortable shoes, just get some insoles because you're gonna, your feet are gonna die, basically. <laughs> wear sneakers, wear shorts, tank tops. It's 90, 100 degrees in Austin at that time. So you're gonna wanna be um, comfortable. You're gonna wanna be um, wearing clothing that's not gonna make you overheated. All right, next one is be prepared to wait in long ass lines. The lines um, are sometimes outside, sometimes inside, depending on the panel. Um, they're long, especially for the panels like Ruby, Red vs. Blue, Achievement Hunter, the podcast. You're going to be waiting for a damn long time. So you're going to want to get there early. The Guardians will say how early you guys can start lining up. But as long as you're like in the area, you're not blocking anything, just be prepared to wait a long time, a long time. So I would bring things to do in line with you. A lot of people will bring their Nintendo DS's with them. Um, mine has a little charms and stickers on it. Um, <laughs> my first year at RTX, um, I had the idea of bringing put that down the beer blocker box of um, Cards Against Humanity, and actually it was a really really good idea because it helped me talk to people in line. Um, I made a lot of friends in line for registration. We actually made friends that we hung out with the entire time in registration. Just with playing Cards Against Humanity, we called it Cards Against Mobility because we were always moving. It was actually a really good way to get to know people and um, I actually... Let me try to find one. There's so many. There's so many cards in here. Jesus. I actually made my own um, expansion just for RTX. I made my own Rooster Teeth um, expansion for Cards Against Humanity. I did this by myself on... Um, Photoshop, you can't buy it anywhere, it's just, I wanted to make it for fun to, you know, commemorate the, I'll put this one. I think you can see it, accidentally becoming a washing machine. So yeah, just little inside jokes that I made um, on Photoshop and I printed, you don't have to do this, this is just like, my idea to get to know people and, you know, to bond over why we're here. We're all here for the same reason, we're all here to nerd out about Rooster Teeth, pretty much. Next tip would be questions at panels, because a lot of people actually ask what's appropriate and what's not appropriate to ask at a Rooster Teeth panel. You can ask whatever you want, honestly, but I would stay away from AWU intros. I know you really want to make your AWU intro at an RTX panel, but it's taking up time from people who are trying to ask legitimate questions, and um, an AWU intro you're probably done after or before. So, yeah, please, we've heard enough. We've heard enough of uh, asking for our interest. It happens, like, every year. Be prepared, so uh, think of some questions beforehand. I, I asked last year at the RVB panel, I asked, who would you fight? I related it to the fight choreography in season 13. They talked a lot about the fight choreography and how it changed and how well they did on it, and they also got to ask, like, answer a, a funny question. Also, don't ask for spoilers. They're never going to give you spoilers. They're not. Questions that are asked often. This includes what Ada and Iota are stand for, which has now been answered in the book. Um, and then also what's in Velvet's box that's also been answered. <laughs> Most of the questions that have been asked have been answered. So, I mean, don't ask any spoiler questions because they're probably going to be answered in the future. Another question that gets asked a lot is about food. 
Um, convention food is notorious for being really damn expensive. So there's a lot of places nearby. There's a lot of really good food in Austin. There's a restaurant really damn close to the convention center. It was good. It was fast. It was not too expensive. There's also, actually I recommend this to everyone who goes to RTX, there is a super center Walmart not too far from the convention center. You can take a cab there, you can take an Uber. Uber is a really good investment for this convention. It's like $10 Uber. You can take it with people and split the fare. I would go there and stock up on water bottles, Gatorades, sodas, um, Pop-Tarts, snacks, granola bars, anything. Cause honestly, I would get breakfast foods like Pop-Tarts, um, granola, anything that you're gonna eat in the, in the morning because it'll save you so much time, so much time. It honestly, you can just grab a bite to eat in the morning. You don't have to go to a restaurant. You don't have to wait in line at Starbucks because honestly, the lines at Starbucks are so, so long. Yeah, do that in the morning so you can just eat while you're getting ready and then go straight there. And it'll save you a lot of time, trust me. Yeah, also check out Austin's local food. If you have time for lunch or dinner, you can go to um, 6th Street is really, really close. It's a few blocks over. They have a lot of good food, a lot of good cheap pizza. Also Home Slice. You've probably heard the home slice on the podcast. It is it is very, very good. It's a little bit far, so I'd recommend going there like after the convention or if you're staying an extra day, go there for lunch, but it's worth it. All right, next up is making friends and interacting with staff members. Basically, the best thing about RTX is that we're all there for the same exact reason. Whether you're there for... pictures, but also make sure that it's okay for you to take a picture, because I know some cosplayers don't like it when people take a picture without their consent. So, you know, just, you know, if you see a cosplay you really like, go right up to them. They they live for this. That's why they made the costume. They want to make people happy. So I made a lot of friends in line with my Cards Against Humanity. If you have a game like that you can bring, it's a really great idea to get to know people. Um, I actually met one of my roommates at RTX 2014, and now we live together. So, <laughs> I mean, it works out really well. Everyone's Everyone's amazing, I can just say. Everyone. The community just makes RTX so much better. Like, the staff is great. They're fine. But the community is, is really, like, the stars of RTX, I think. Also, just respect everyone in their spaces. Don't harass anyone, please. Like, let's make this convention good for everyone. Next up is the Guardians. The Guardians are there to help you. They're volunteering their time. Just listen to them. They know what they're doing. They know how to help you. They're there to help you. Obviously things at the convention will go wrong, like, you know, lines will get mixed up, um, times will get mixed up, but they're doing their best to help you, so I just respect them, listen to them anytime you can. They're doing a damn good job of it every year I've gone. Every year I've gone, they've been great. Also, if someone's harassing you, if you need help with anything, don't hesitate to go to a guardian, because that's what they're there for, and they'll be happy to help you. I don't know what I'm doing with my arms here. Okay, this is actually a really requested one, is what to bring with you at the convention. Um, there's a few things that I would definitely recommend for you to bring. Sharpies or permanent markers. Never know when you're going to run into people on the floor. Actually, most of the times I've met someone from Rooster Teeth was on the floor. So I would suggest bringing metallic Sharpies for those dark ones because they, uh, they won't show up like, you know, black colored Sharpies like these are good to bring too. For example, like the RBB box set. I have some, like Bernie signed it in black right over here. Lindsay signed it. You can still see it, but like the silver's a little bit. If you're getting a DVD signed, let me show you a little thing here. You can just take the sleeve out, get them to sign the sleeve, put the sleeve back in. Also, when you're putting the DVD back in, don't rip it like I did. I'm really, really sad. <laughs> I'm really sad about my Stranger Hood DVD. It got ripped after Joel signed it. <laughs> if you get the top of the DVD signed, a huge suggestion I have is to bring a bottle of sealant. So this can be Mod Podge is what I suggest. It can be anything else, but something that will seal it because if you're getting something like a controller signed, like I did Meg Turney, this is not coming off because I have a lot of layers of sealant on it. Michael and Lindsay signed my DS, so that's not coming off either because I no, put... <laughs> Also, a lot of people suggest clear nail, nail polish. Don't use clear nail polish. 
it chips off. Um, so use a sealant like Mod Podge. You can get that at Walmart. You can get it at Michael's, um, get on Amazon, anything. That really, really, really helps. It's it's Texas, guys. It's Texas. So remember your deodorant because you're going to be sweating a lot and you don't want to like sweat or be odorous or anything gross. <laughs> so please bring, bring deodorant with you. <laughs> Just, you know, to touch up every once in a while. Um, also, obviously a water bottle. Water bottle would be really good to bring with you because it's fucking hot. <laughs> Also, bring some snacks, like a granola bar, or a, like a bag of chips, or a something so you can just snack on when you're in line, when you don't have time to run to a restaurant, time to run to the food booth at the convention center. They do have one, but it's pretty expensive, so I don't know if you want to do that, save money, whatever. Also, I would suggest to bring like a first aid kit, um, some band-aids, Avengers themed or not, I don't care. Just in case you get like a blister, or I don't know, you hurt yourself in some way, you can just, you know pull one out instead of having to run to CVS and waste some time at the convention center. Also, I bring like Advil. Don't forget your medication, anything you need to take. That's very important. We don't want anything, any medical emergencies <laughs> at RTX. That would really, really suck. My next tip will be to attend events after the convention. There are some that Rooster Teeth hosts, like they'll do um, Cards Against Humanity, or they'll do Werewolves concert. They do a bunch of things, so definitely attend one of those. Or you can attend like a side quest event. You can get tickets at their website, side quest. Go to some bars on 6th Street if you're of age. Definitely look into their after events and the side quest events and the bars. There's a really good one on 6th Street recess. Sometimes they'll do 18 plus, but depends. So panels and signings is next. This one's important. So I would plan ahead, plan ahead. You're not gonna get into every single panel you want to, unfortunately. So plan um, your most important, like, three. I usually choose the red versus blue, ruby, and I chose the Sweep Hunter last year. You're gonna get into more. Um, if you have extra time, definitely you can go to more panels. But I would definitely plan for definitely going to three at the most. Because you have to get there early, you have to make sure you get in. So if the signings are... to see and try to get into that one you're going to run into people on the floor that's a given most of the people I met were on the floor so don't be too discouraged if you really wanted to see Meg Turney but you really wanted to go to Bernie's signing you're gonna see you're probably gonna see one of them on the floor also when meeting RT staff this is it's gonna seem so nerve-wracking. It's gonna seem like the scariest thing, and I understand because I've been watching them for 10 years. In my first RTX, I was like so nervous to meet these people that I'm now in film school because of them, and it's so weird, and these people are real. They're really, really nice and friendly and relatable. I was so nervous to meet people, and I went right up to them, and it was like I'd known them forever. They're so like friendly and they're so it's so easy to talk to them so you have nothing to worry about you have nothing to worry about if you think you're going to make a fool of yourself in front of ryan haywood you're not you're not going to and they they really really want to meet fan they really appreciate that you're there and um that's why they're there so you, please don't worry don't worry too much it's gonna be fine <laughs> this one's a specific question asked by purple nexus on twitter it's about how to handle anxiety and being overwhelmed at the convention so I am actually, I do suffer from anxiety, so this is something that is uh, relatable to me, I guess. So I would first suggest to bring a friend with you that's aware of your um, situation and stay with them the entire time if you can. That way they can help you if anything goes wrong, they know exactly how to help you. And if you need to sit down and find a quiet spot for a while, there's many around, there's um, the back walls, don't have any booths near them, you can sit outside, you can, just honestly, I would just sit in the quiet place and like you know calm yourself down and if you're if it's getting really bad and you're worried about your safety please go to a guardian because they can help you as soon as possible people have also been asking me how to transport my cosplay i have no fucking idea this is actually one piece of my full armor yeah so i'm gonna get an action packer and put all of the armor in there it's not done he's advice you need a visor it depends on what your airline's checked bag policy is but I know Southwest is two free bags, so I took two suitcases last year. One of them was filled with half of armor and my Cinder cosplay, 
it fit pretty well. This year I'm bringing full armor, so I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna get an action pack here. I'm going to zip tie the um, top shut because if anyone needs to get in there from TSA, they can cut the zip ties off, they can check, and they can put new zip ties on so you're not, like, they're not breaking the lock for you. I've heard that's the way to go for full armor if you're bringing like really, really big cosplay. Also with weapons, I don't know what their policy is this year, but as normal convention weapon policies have been, orange tipped guns, no missiles can be shot from them, so no nerf guns, or if they are nerf guns, I think you can fill them, but I'm not sure about this specific convention center. Also, no like sharp pointy, so like rubber tipped arrows, um, foam weapons are fine. But don't take this completely seriously for me because I don't know exactly what the policy that is here. <sighs> I've been talking for like so long. I need to take some of this out. <laughs> so that's pretty much all I've got for now. I can make another video if anyone has any more questions, please let me know. I can make another um, advice video. Definitely let me know. Answer in the comments if you want to know anything else. I can definitely answer you. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope these tips can really help you and your trip. And I hope it's a great time. And I hope to see you there. And it's going to be great. I'm really, really excited for RTX.